YOLO, it's Lady Leo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are going to be diving into another full collection and we're going to be doing super chic lacquer. I have decided to split this collection into two parts going forward. So this is going to be part one of that collection. And we're going to start off with Sugar Coated, which is a beautiful, nice, deep, medium pink. I do apologize. My lights are going to make this look brighter, but it is a little bit of a deeper shade of pink. Oh, and I love me a good pink. So here we have Rock Hard, which at first glance, I kind of want to say this is like a seafoam blue, which I know doesn't make sense because seafoam usually implies green, but it somehow it evokes that sort of color, but in a shade of blue. That's kind of what I think about. Also powder blue as well could be describing of this one. I do like blues uh, just as much as I like pink. Well, I mean, okay, maybe not just as much, but I, I like a good blue as well. I will say that the creme formulas from Super Chic are a little bit on the thicker side. Now that's not a bad thing. I actually tend to like a little bit of a thicker formula that um, allows me to sort of work the nail polish without it going all into my cuticle. However, I usually like to work in like thin layers and for this polish, I think I would have needed to do a little bit more as uh, this particular coat uh, was a little not that smooth. <laughs> so that's that's my fault. Don't 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 at me too much in the comments. All right, moving on to the next one. We have 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And this one is probably my favorite of the three cremes that I have from Super Chic. It's kind of like a periwinkle blue and there's definitely some maybe like cool purple undertones. It kind of invokes both of those colors for me and I love purple and I like blue, so it works for me. I think this is a pretty unique color um, and it looks in this lighting pretty much like a light purple, but like in the bottle, it definitely looks a little bit more blue, um, but I love this color. It's really beautiful. And again, keep it up for that amazing formula from Super Chic. Also, shout out to these brushes. Who doesn't love a great wide brush? These also dry down pretty quickly, which I like because I'm super impatient. So I want these to dry so that I can move on to the next coat. So anybody else who feels the same. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next one. We're gonna get into your favorites now. We're gonna get into all of the effects polishes that you always, always wanted to see and always wanted. And we're gonna start with Happy Thoughts. I think this is from their Peter Pan collection. Don't know if that's actually the name of it, but it's sort of themed around Neverland and Peter Pan. This one is a silver hollow that has a really unique and sort of uh, faint, well, maybe not that faint in certain lightings, shift to sort of like a magenta color. This one reminds me heavily of a polish that I also own from ILNP, but this one I think has a lot more hollow in it, a lot more glitter in it maybe. Uh, it's kind of hard to see unless you're looking right at it. I have to go to the bottle, but I love this one a lot. I love the classic hollow and silver, and this one has a nice fun twist of having that nice subtle shift to magenta, which just works really well with this sort of color. And look at that beautiful coverage. It would be better if, if the second one was fully dry. Sorry about that. It wasn't super dry underneath it. You're not how impatient I am, okay? But anyway, don't mind me and my messy swatches. Just look at the beautiful nail polish and the hollow and the shift. Okay. All right, I'm moving on, no problem, next one. All right, so next up we have Shattered Mira. Ooh, I just love the way that sounds. So this is another classic silver hollow. This one is definitely more of like a linear hollow um, and there is no shift in this one. So this one's just the classic for those of you who don't like any any shifts in your classics or nothing like that. Um, and this one has maximum rainbows. I hope you can see all of them. I just wanna say, it is very hard to film, to take pictures of hollow, almost frustratingly. Like I love hollow, but I guess I was fully not prepared, even though simply uh, made many videos saying how hard it is to capture hollow. I was not prepared with how difficult it is to capture hollow. The processes that I go through to capture the hollow, I do that for y'all. 
but also because I love hollow too. So maybe like more for myself and just because a little bit for you though. Oh, but yes, I'm gonna activate that hollow with one of my other smaller lights. Oh, you can see the rainbows. There's so many rainbows. It's so much more pretty in the uh, direct light, but uh, I'm not going out in the sun, okay? I live in Virginia and it'd be hot. So you get the lights that you get when I'm in my house. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next one. All right, we are moving right along and next we are gonna get into some yellows. Yeah, you know, my colors may be out of order, so you're probably asking yourself, how do you put your colors in order? Whatever feels the best and the most natural to me when I look at all the nail polishes I own from a collection, that's genuinely how I do it. So this one is a, yeah, it's like a, it's kind of like a lime yellow, if you will, if that makes sense. I, I feel like I see some some light green undertones. This is infectious. I think it's part of their germ collection. Again, I don't think that's the full name of the collection, but I think all the, the titles for the ones in this collection are all uh, germ viral based. Uh, fitting, isn't it? But this one is a, looks like a, a light linear hollow. Um, which has maybe like a very, very subtle sort of pink magenta shift. It looks like the same kind of shift from Happy Thoughts, but it definitely is a lot more subtle. And I, I am going to have to apologize because for whatever reason, yellow is a little hard to actually see the hollow when I try to activate it. Um, so you can see the shift, but not necessarily. But that's okay. I know you guys don't care. You didn't come for that. You came for the nail polish, the hollow. That's fine. I understand. So moving on to a pheromone, which is probably my favorite of the yellows we're going to go through because this one is like the true traditional linear hollow formula that we, we are used to. You can see that flame as I spin that bottle a little bit, which is just oh, beautiful. It's all the rainbows. And the formula from Super Chic is fantastic, especially as it relates to their linear hollows in general. It's fantastic. But theirs is really up there for me in terms of like some of my favorite um, with Starly and I love Hollow Taco as well and when Enchanted I can't leave Enchanted out but anyway getting back to the pheromone for this one um I just love this particular shade of yellow I love yellows a lot um because I don't think yellows get as much love as any of the other nail polish colors but they are equally beautiful I like this one a lot sorry that it's really difficult to sort of show the flame from the perspective of the swatch itself but just just enjoy that beautiful yellow color while you can. Listen to some music because I'm out of things to say. All right, I'm back, back with Phaedra. This is probably has to be the most unique yellow that I own from uh, Super Chic. And this one, I, I do think it is more designed to be a topper. Um, it's kind of like a, a, a soft yellow, mustard yellow, if you will, that has some iridescent flakies mixed in with that. And I think there might be, I don't think there's any hollow in here. Hold on, let's see this watch. I don't remember, let me see. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's any, well, there might be some hollow sparsely spread in there, but I think mainly this is just sort of like a very sheer mustard yellow base with these iridescent flakies, but this polish really shines when you start adding in the different coats as you're gonna see when I throw on that second coat and you can really start layering up those flakies. So while I think it's probably designed to be a little bit more of a top coat considering that it is a sheer base, I don't know, I might like wearing this by itself. I mean, my nails are already pretty yellow as it is. So, I mean, these are just gonna enhance them by making them look like they're filled with gemstones, right? All right, on to the next one, Rum Billy. Wow, this is such a really beautiful, unique color. It's like a, it's like a brown, yellow, gold color and it's a linear hollow, but like the combination of the color is so unique for me that it creates for a really beautiful hollow. I'm always looking for polishes that I don't own, which is pretty hard, but I do think brands have been 
really good about not really truly duplicating anything. Like I can't truly find a dupe, like something that's the exact same. But anyway, sorry, enough of me ranting. Oh, I just I just love this color. It is such a beautiful color and it's 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 brown, but I feel like I get a lot more gold that shows up in this swatch. It's like a brown gold. And those are not two colors that I ever thought I wanted to see together, but like when you add hollow to it, yes, definitely. All right, up next we have Outbreak. Gotta be honest, it's a pretty tough act to follow after Rumbilly, but we're now getting into some blues, and as I said previously, I love a good blue. This one is a nice soft pastel baby blue, and in that signature linear hollow formula, which you can see right now, I really love this color. I do like a light blue, and it's, uh, I guess it's not really the springtime anymore. It's definitely the summer. <laughs> But I mean, I don't really care about seasons. I wear whatever shades I'm feeling at the moment, but I just really like this color. I think it's soft, it's beautiful, and sometimes pastels can be a little bit of a mixed bag when it comes to linear hollow, like because the shade itself is so light, the hollow may not be as uh, exaggerated. Yeah, that's, that's the, the best word. But this one does a really good job of it, and I love this shade a lot. I'm out of things to say, so we're gonna bring that music up. All right, moving on to the next one, we've got Frozen Queen. And this one kind of reminds me of Phaedra. It's definitely not the same formula, but I definitely think it is more designed to be a topper. It's like a blue, purple, hollow base. Sorry, it's a blue, purple base with I think some, some hollow flakies and some other like iridescent flakies. They may not be hollow. It's a little difficult to tell. Sometimes in the bottle it looks like something is hollow, but then when I swatch it, I don't see any of the rainbows. So I, I don't necessarily think this one has hollow in it. I don't know, I should read the description online, but I'm just trying to go off of the vibes of what I feel and what I see. Uh, but yeah, I like this one a lot. Um, it definitely appears a little bit more purple like on the nail because it looks a little bit more blue in the bottle but you know me I stand a purple queen and this one really shines when you start adding multiple layers so I think I would rock this one by itself or just like on a similar color or another color to be funky. All right on to the next one. All right, so now we are looking at Viral. So I have to say that, wow, I am realizing that the way that I keep my colors, they're not really in the best order because I guess this is a little bit more of a purple for sure. It definitely looks purple to me. It looks like it's more of like a like a light purple, if you will, than it is blue, but it's in the blue category for some weird reason. I don't know why it's in the blue category, but it is. So we're gonna get us some nice linear purple hollow today in with the blues. Don't worry about it. Don't think too much about it. I love a good purple. I literally don't care what shade, color, finish. I genuinely love purple. Purple is my favorite color for the nails. I cannot rave about it enough. And any linear hollow purples are great in my book. This is like a soft pastel kind of purple, which I don't see a lot in hollow, at least not what I own. So I love a good pastel hollow. Now we are moving on to probably my absolute favorite polish of my entire Super Chic collection, and that is the Second Star Right On Till Morning. This is a deep navy blue, 
and there's kind of like a scattered light hollow in there. And this is also a multi-chrome as well, although you're probably only gonna be able to see the one shift color, which is gonna be deep blue at this angle. When I tell you this polish is gorgeous, that's one swatch, I just one whole thing. This is my favorite polish in the whole collection, and my whole collection of Super Sheen. It is absolutely stunning. And this just gets better the more layers that you do. I, I can't say anything else about this polish. I'm just gonna let you guys look at it stare at it, it's beautiful. Wow, that is a tough act to follow, but you know, lucid la la lands gotta keep it keep it moving as we segue into those blues. This is probably my favorite shade of blue because it reminds me of the ocean. You know what I mean? Like the deep ocean, but not too deep where it's like black. So like in between the light part, which is still very much affected by the sun and like the deeper part of the ocean. Sorry, that's a long uh, description, but that's why I love this one so much. I love the shade of blue and anything with this linear hollow formula from Super Chic is truly exceptional. And even though you can't see the hollow right now because I haven't activated, just the shade itself is so beautiful. Look at how smooth that formula is. It's pretty opaque. Like if I weren't doing this for swatches, I probably would just do one coat, but I feel like as a habit, I like to do two coats. But I'm out of things to say, so we're gonna bring that music up. It's gonna happen a lot during the video, by the way. All right, next up we have Throwing Shade. I feel like at first glance, this shade can get a little bit trippy because it kind of looks a lot similar to Lucid La La Land, but I do think that that previous shade that we just looked at is definitely darker than this one. So it's kind of like this is a few shades lighter than that version and it's equally exceptional. I still really love the color as well. So I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy. we have dirty laundry so i do want to apologize as we go into the greens i don't know why but like somehow they got slightly out of order and the lighting is different so much in natural light that for i could not recall whether or not these were the same i hope these are the same as i've listed but this one is described as being a sort of teal green color and i do see that it's sort of like a light teal if you will um almost like a mint shade like mint mojito from hollow taco but maybe like one or two shades darker than mint mojito and that's one of my favorite ones from the new pastel rainbow collection so i love this shade a lot it is a unique kind of green because i feel like it leans towards the blue side so it's like green 60 percent maybe that's too high green 70 percent and then maybe like 30 percent blue and i think it really creates a beautiful unique shade of green
right, next up we have Awkward Turtle, which is kind of like a, it's like a hunter green, if you will, with a little bit of a yellow undertone. It's a beautiful shade of green. It makes me think of the grass growing in a, a field of undisturbed people. Uh, of undisturbed influencers or something like that. I really like this shade of green and it is beautiful on the nails. Again, I apologize. I looked at this section of greens for probably a good 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and I hope these are in the right order. I think the Super Chic website was doing maintenance when I sort of made my outline for this video. So they did not, um, I couldn't go to their website and just check out the bottles for these. Uh, so I don't know if these are in the right order. I think they are, but you know, take it, uh, uh, take that how you will. Okay. Moving on to Magic Cricket, which is definitely a little bit more of a lighter green color, but I love the greens. I think because they start to get deeper in terms of color, you really get to see that hollow payoff, which you'll see at the end of this swatch. But this one definitely looks a lot lighter in the bottle, sorry, as a swatch, due to those bright lights of mine. But it is a very beautiful color. I love it a lot. Love that linear formula. And I'm out of things to say, so we're going to bring that volume of that music up. Moving on to the next one, Queen of Tea. I love me some good tea. I love this one a lot. I see the yellow a lot with this one and the green. I guess it's because I didn't shake this bottle enough. You can almost see like the yellow at the bottom and like the more green at the top. But this one is a really beautiful shade. I think it has a little bit more yellow in it. So it's definitely lighter, which is great if you're into like really light greens or you're like wanting something pastel. This one's akin to that. And I love a good green. I love this one so much. And I'm sorry, I hope I don't offend anybody when I say that I'm out of things to say, but I, <laughs> I do sort of write an outline for myself, but the swatches and the bottle shots can be a little long and I genuinely don't always have like a paragraph of things to say like the polish is so beautiful I say my spiel and it kind of speaks for itself which is why I like to just bring that music up and keep it moving so hopefully that doesn't offend anybody all right Moving on to Charmed. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This one does make me think of Lucky Charms, which I don't know if that was what they were going for, but it makes me think of like a shamrock shake or the, the, the shamrock in the Lucky Charm. I love this one so much. This one has like a, I feel like it's like a green, not a sheer base, like a green hollow base maybe. It's hard to see because there's a lot going on in this particular polish. It's like a glitter polish. But then you have those nice big chunks of deeper green. I guess it is a little bit more of a sheer base. I don't know. I can't fully tell what the base is made out of. It looks like it's sheer, but there's also some sort of linear scatteredness going on in the base. And with that, Charmed is going to be the last one in my collection, my part one collection from Super Chic Lacquer. Keep an eye out for part two. I have finished that video, so it should be up next week. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun making it. And again, I do really love Super Chic Lacquer. So like I said, keep an eye out for part two. And if you liked that video, be sure to like that video. And if you would also subscribe, that would help me out. And I really appreciate it. You can check out any of my social media handles. I thank you so much for watching. I'm out.